in general in india i think there was there are more android phones as compared to iphones right so the demand for a android developer is more in general in india hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to our channel placement interview this is your host sonia gatraj and today we have with us mr agam and he's here to share his experience with us so before moving ahead in the interview first of all welcome to our channel and would you tell us something about yourself Hi Sony, thank you for inviting me. So my name is Agam Mahajan. I am from Jalandhar, Punjab. I did my graduation in computer science from NIT Jalandhar, and from uh, I passed out in the year of 2016. And for the last six months, I have been a iOS developer, and currently working an SD3 iOS developer in Swiggy. And before that, I was in a healthcare startup called Prakto. and uh, besides uh, coding and development i like to play and watch football so whenever i get time i watch videos and all this things yeah so that's a little about me okay. so moving ahead uh, could you tell us something about the company that you are currently working with that is swiggy yeah so swiggy as everybody knows is majorly into food delivery so but the focus is of uh, you know the the motto of swiggy is to provide convenience to the end customer so swiggy was uh, like founded in 2015 started with food delivery and now pivoted to other uh, verticals also so for example grocery delivery in most of the cities now swiggy is also doing grocery delivery then is you know uh, pick and drop packages and also swiggy has recently acquired dine out also where you can you know, Go to do restaurant dining and order and restaurant booking. That's that sort of stuff. Yeah, that's good. And so I've been some- yeah. Sorry, I can add one more point to cut you. I've been in Swiggy almost around four years now. So one thing I wanted to like uh, share was like the thing which has uh, got me going in Swiggy is the culture and the ethics of Swiggy. Yeah, that's what I wanted to share. Yeah. Okay. So as you know, like there are responsibilities that come with every job profile. So what what does your day looks like? I mean, how was the process that goes on throughout the day, and what are the things that you have to go through on a day to day basis? So my job is mobile app development, and my specialty is in iOS development. So when I say iOS development, basically I create and do improvements in iPhone apps. So in if in Swiggy you see you know the restaurant cards the menu the nav- when you click on something you know it goes to menu page or whatever happens that is all handled by an iOS developer so that that is kind of my job profile so how the how to interact uh, how will the user interact with uh, all the screens all the screens building so yeah day to day is I we sit or I sit with designers the back end people. and to see how the layout will look like or how the visualization will be done so whatever designer thinks and thought it we put it into picture and create the apps so this okay. is the major thing about that yeah okay so during your interview process how was the question and answer process handled at your company just the process that you want to share it with us so this has been long time like 3 4 almost 4 years when i was uh, i did my interview so but i have taken a lot of interviews in swiggy so i'll tell the general process of uh, i was development interview so we start with first round which is a machine coding round where the candidate is given a assignment let's say he has to build a small movie app movie list app you know you can search and find movie list so we'll give him data and all these things so the candidate will be given one and a half hours or two hours to build the ui and basically write code writing skills are judged in that so that's the first round then second one is the ios concept where ios fundamentals are asked to the user uh, to the candidate and so so let's basically swift and ios all these questions are asked to the candidate and one one or two uh, problem solving questions are also asked in the interview then comes the third one is a design problem where the uh, where the candidate has to architect an app and list down all the use cases and the discussion happens on that and the fourth one is the hiring manager round where is this you interact with the manager yeah. so that's a process in swiggy for i was talking about so as you know the skills are really very important in shaping any profession today so what are the technical skills or soft skills that the person should know in order to be a ios developer or anything in general 
first uh, foremost is the language in which you know uh, in any uh, job profile or any coding job profile basically is the first thing is the language in which you build you know your app or code you do the coding so in ios it's swift okay so you have to proficient in swift language you should know its concept you know how to use that and when to use which one that is the foremost skill you will require there is a compiler in which you know you write the code and build the apps that is xcode so we have to you know know how to use xcode that is the second thing and the third thing is i see is basically how to make a good ui basically anyone can write code and you know can make apps but how will you get differentiated from other people right so that is how efficiently you will make the apps how uh, how i'll say how smooth you will make the interactions for the user right so let's say for example there is a animations or you know you, are, you maybe you have to navigate user from one page to another how smoothly you will write uh, you know do that coding and how uh, what uh, so basically you have to think of end customer right? so if you give a smooth experience to the user that is the you know the foremost skill that is also required for that in the iOS store so any resources or platforms that you want to refer in order to gain such technical skills yeah so the uh, earlier in, uh, like when i started like 6 six, uh, 6 years back there was not many you know resources were there but now i, I think with the internet boom and all this thing you will easily get all the resources on the youtube or google and on linkedin but i'll recommend uh, something ray vantage which is from the start only so ray vantage you uh, like anyone who is interested you can search on the google and you will find a website uh, they will provide a lot of tutorials on the ios right from the you know starting basics and going to the complex also that is one and then is hacking with swift that is also a good website so they give a tutorial of 100 days of swift so within let's say they say that within 100 days you will start slowly you know, understand the basic concept and then move to complex concept and then you will get proficient in uh, ios better so these are the so mr Lastly, uh, any advices that you want to give us to the future aspirants who wants to join the same role as yours, or in general, anything about to our audience? So I'll say, like, besides tutorial, first, like earlier, what I told us, there was not lot many iOS developers in general in India. I think there was there are more Android phones as compared to iPhones, right? So the demand for an Android developer is more in general in India. and earlier the demand was for the ios development was very ios developer and ios development was very less but as now economy is growing and you know people have started using iphones more and more so you know the like companies are also like started focusing on ios development so if you are interested in mobile development and ios development and you want to be kind of you know uh, look different and you know work on different things you can you know go opt for ios development that is one second is without uh, in addition to tutorials you should also like you know start with basic app let's say a hello world which we call in a software engineering key like you build a hello world pro- a project this is a simple app one page hello world then you start building on top of it you know let's say i want to you know display something on the on the page small table and all then you go from here to like you know then i'll want to you know do a dynamic data let's say i download a data from somewhere and you know Uh, show that let's say for example weather app which is like, like i'll get your location and i show weather what is the current weather at your location so how you will make that ui and, and then you can go on complex from there you can do complex things on top of it then multi page apps so this is how we will learn okay and we wish you very best of luck from our team place an interview as well and thank you so much for joining with us today it was amazing talking to you and thank you for your time of course it's a sunday weekend and we don't want to take much of your time so thank you mr agam for us having you over here is a pleasure and uh, we'll see you again so anything you will want to say uh yeah one thing is if you are interested like to watch this video i'm sure many people will watch this video and if you are interested in ios development you want to know more about it you can contact me on the linkedin also agam mahajan and you can search and you know connect me and we can get on a call or something and i'll surely help you yeah. oh yeah you said my point actually <laughs> okay so people the audience who whoever wants to connect with him the link will be in the description box below go check it out and have your queries with him So thank you so much. Thank you.